It was only a matter of time before I would get a train set on this channel and today is the day that finally happens. This is a set provided by Fun Hall and when I tell you I'm really excited to take a look at this set I really do mean it. So let's not waste any more time and go full steam ahead into this video. As stated earlier this set is provided by Fun Hall so thank you to them. I've seen a few of their sets through other YouTubers and I've always been impressed by the quality, construction and Price. So let's see how this set fares under my scrutiny. This set features a steam train from the Wild West era with a locomotive which is a recreation of a 440 steam locomotive from that time. Bit of a random fact but have you always wondered what is meant by 440? Well it's actually the wheel arrangement for the locomotive. So you have four wheels on a bogey then another four wheels followed by none at the back of the locomotive. Anyway enough info dumping because I could talk about trains all day. We have the locomotive followed by the tender with all the coal needed to fuel the steam train followed by by some logs which are chained down for transport followed by what looks to be some passenger accommodation with storage for luggage. We then also have a side bill just peeking from behind the train there which looks to be a water tower. I can see this being positioned nicely next to the train when it needs more water so a very nice addition. The price for this set is set at £89.99 but sometimes this set does go on offer every now and then bringing that price down a bit but saying that £90 for a set with over 1,500 pieces is it's pretty good. So on the box we see the train in its full consist in the wild west with the minifigures included taking a look at the train. Going from left to right we have a thief who looks like they're about to blow up the tracks for a heist on the train. We then have an engineer with a shovel who I imagine is taking a look at the locomotive to make sure she's ready for the journey ahead. We then have the conductor or the train guard standing guard and probably waiting for passengers to board the train. On top of the train we see the guy who was hired by the owner of the train to protect it from thieves. With two passengers one of which is the owner of the railway and his wife. So quite a bit going on. All this with a watering station just visible above the train in the background. Turn the box around this side is a little bit boring but towards the top we see this set alongside the other sets in this Wild West range including the station for the train we've got here, a sheriff's office and a saloon. Maneuvering the box around to see the top where we have a close look at the minifigures included. There are six included in the set which we'll take a close look at later on when we have them out of the box. And moving to the bottom of the box, we have some text which says delight day and night, which is a big hint towards one of the features of this set, which we'll definitely be taking a look at later on. Open up the box and down there's a lot of things packed into this box. First, we have 23 bags full of parts, a box with some bricks in that may do something extra, but we'll see later on, and one big ass chunky instruction booklet. Honestly, I've never seen a book of instructions this big. And after a little while, we have built the train as well as the water tower side build. Honestly I don't know where to begin with this set but so far I am really impressed. Let's go from front to back with the train and talk about each wagon in the train starting with the locomotive. This locomotive looks really good. It is based upon a steam locomotive of that era and the build perfectly encapsulates that. With a nice big light at the front followed by a massive chimney for the steam to come out of and a little bell which is used to notify that the steam locomotive is nearby. The outside of the train looks amazing especially with these printed parts on the side and the overall colour scheme which is very suitable for a train of this era. The interior of the engineer's room, cab or whatever you wish to call it is no different. With a lot of detail including some printed parts for things like gauges and a little fire pit which uses two one by one studs to mimic the look of coal. The colour scheme used on the locomotive extends to the tender as it should and the tender also features more printed parts on the side saying freight which is a nice touch and the print itself as well as the prints in this set are of really good quality. The tender also has this removable top which is built to imitate coal but what could all this space be used for? Oh trust me we will get to that. Moving on to the wood log wagon which transports you guessed it wooden logs. This wagon is probably the simplest of the builds in this set but that doesn't mean it doesn't look good because it really does. The logs themselves vary somewhat in length which adds to the realism of this set because back then they probably couldn't get them exactly the same size like we can these days. These logs are then held in place with some chains but the way this build is constructed it looks like these plates are straps which looks quite cool plus you can never be too careful with securing freight goods down. Finally moving down the consist a little more we come to a hybrid coach that has storage with some freight which is stored behind this door that appears on both sides of this coach and can slide over to reveal the contents. And we also have some passenger accommodation in the form of a private quarters. The private 
driver quarters is a bit of a tight fit but it houses a sofa with a cabinet next to it that has some drawers with a newspaper and a cup on top. Opposite the sofa there is a table which looks quite fancy which has a want poster on the top as well as another cup. There is also a printed towel with train route on which is a little bit hidden as it's behind the cabinet which separates the freight from the private quarters. Speaking of the freight there's quite a few little bits including a few boxes, a suitcase which uses this printed part to give the look of the suitcase and a money bag but it looks like some of the gold or money that's being carried has actually fell on the floor of the coach. So with this site not only do you get the train but you also get some pieces of track. The pieces of track that are included are about the right size for the train and during the build you do add a bit of greenery as well as the brown tiles to represent railway sleepers which are a nice touch. Further up the track is a little bill consisting of some dynamite and a device to blow it up that is used with one of the minifigures like we can see here. Also included is this water tower which can be positioned next to the train which looks really good when displaying this train as it looks like the train is taken on water ready for the next journey it undertakes. The water tower itself is quite a nice build and features quite a lot of detail with some greenery dotted around as well as some miscellaneous items like a bag which I assume is full of money, part of a chest and a wanted poster which again features someone we'll be visiting later on. So do you remember that orange box that we saw earlier? Well it's time to tell you what's inside. So this set actually incorporates a light kit which to some sounds like an absolute headache but with the way this one is executed is just nothing short of amazing because this set is a set with a light kit rather than a set that you can add a light kit to. You actually build it alongside the light kit with instructions that I find easy to read and understand. The best thing is this set comes with bricks and parts used to hide the wires as well so you can't really see them unless you're looking too closely. The best example of this is this gold rod which looks like a normal rod but it's actually tubing which allows a wire to run from the engineer's cab to the front of the train for its light which is just amazing. And with the light kit being incorporated in different parts of the train's consist you think that it would be hard to dismantle the train to move the consist around but you'd be wrong. You see to connect the light kit from one wagon to the other you have these electrical pads which are used by these bricks with small prongs on the bottom. So all you need to do to disconnect any of the wagons in the consist is disconnect this coupler first then disconnect the brick and that's it. It's really simple. So how is this light kit powered? Well here's where the designer really outdid themselves. So there are two options for powering the light kit, the first being via USB which is ideal if you're running lights continuously and have a USB hub nearby. Then we also have this battery box which takes 3 times AAA batteries. If you choose the USB option obviously there'll be some wires going from the train to the hub or you can choose the battery option with this black battery box. Now I bet you're thinking ah but I don't want that ugly battery box visible for everyone to see. Well you don't, just hide it in the steam locomotive's tender. I'm honestly blown away by how well thought out this entire set is. I wish I had got a fun hole set before this because damn this is pretty awesome. Now we've had a look at the build, let's focus our attention on these very unique looking figures. I'll be honest, at first I didn't really like them, but they are starting to grow on me a bit. We have six in this set and they all have backstories which I absolutely love. We have the engineer who I did think was a train guard because of his uniform, but I was wrong. But he operates and also maintains the locomotive we have today. He is joined by a fireman who, as you probably guessed by now, stokes the fire to help keep steam pressure so the train can go and that's it for train crew. We then have Tough Tex, once a cow by himself, he finds himself hired by a rich man who owns the rail line. So I'm not sure why he was on top of the logs on the box. Maybe to protect the wood? No idea. We then have Mr. and Mrs. Richman. Mr. Richman being the owner of the train line and is personally escorting this shipment of valuable goods to B-Town. He is with his wife, Mrs. Richman, who is escorting the treasure for the first time. We then have the man himself. Yes, you've seen him on posters introducing the baddest man in the Wild West, Bandit Bill. Honestly, these backstories add so much to this set almost like a wild west movie in play. The minifigures themselves feature printing in various areas with quite a lot of detail in the prints. This is especially seen on the engineer with his rather dapper looking suit jacket. One nice addition to one of the minifigures is the fabric skirt that is worn by Mrs Richmond figure that is really nice to see. So with all of that what do I think overall? Well if you hadn't guessed by now I am very very impressed both with the set and its presentation with the characters 
colors which really bring this set to life. The train is absolutely beautiful with its green and gold color scheme which is very suitable for the time it's representing. The side build is quite detailed for a side build which means it doesn't look out of place next to this very detailed train. If that wasn't enough the light kit really shines and elevates this set to another level. The figures while different to what we're used to are still amazing and I love the backstories that Fun Hall have included. And you get all of this all 1524 pieces for £89.99 which to be honest I would happily pay. So I wholeheartedly recommend this product. In fact I really want the transition to go with it now. Anyway, this has been a long one for sure, but this is the first set over 1,000 pieces to be on this channel. And I wanted to make sure I didn't miss any detail. Until next time though, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next video.